Good morning. My name is Rudy Ramsey, and I'll be doing a presentation on making a pear cobbler. You heard of apple pie cobbler. You heard of peach cobbler. But have you heard of pear cobbler? I picked this recipe up from my mom's. My mom's was from the south, and she does a lot of her cooking from scratch, especially her desserts. She makes sweet potato pies, apple pies, 7 up pound cakes, pound cakes, you name it. My mom's just about does all of it. So today, I will be showing you how to make a pear cobbler. I've been making a pear cobbler for about three months now. What you use, I use myself a fresh pears. I cut them up myself and I do all my recipes. I do all my cooking myself. And what we need, we saw the fresh pear we use, brown sugar, we use flour, we use lemon juice, apple juice, vanilla, then the cinnamon and salt and my salt, salt and butter. So I started off. I just started already preparing some of it already. I use fresh apples. I added the cinnamon. I added all the ingredients so far besides the salt and the butter. So let's finish up so we can get this cooking. Now I add one fourth grain of salt. That's about it right there. I don't measure my salt. You just go by the taste. And my butter, I have to use two tablespoons of butter. That's it, about right there. I need you to come out. Let's get this right. Get it right. <laughs> there we go. There's our butter. Now we gotta put everything together. We gotta make some room. We gotta start putting everything together. I already put, I use a lot of pie crust in mine. See, I use the bottom. I'm gonna put, it'll be three layers. The bottom, the middle, and the top. All this kind of, it cooks about at 375, about 35 minutes, and you cook into the apple, the pears are tender, however you want it. Some like it a little crispy, some like it a little soft, some like it just right, just in the middle. So I done did all that right now. I'm gonna combine this, take my spoon, and start mixing it together. If you can see, I have to come up for my camera. Get all that, see all the juice in there? I like mine, it's a little juicy. I like the juice, so I can have a little taste in every bite. I do cook. I love to cook. I do it for a hobby. I don't think I would like to make a career out of it. I like working in the health field where I'm helping people. But if I decide to cook, going to be a chef, then I still be helping people. They enjoy my cooking, healthy cooking. That's what I would preach, and that's what I would do. I learned a lot doing these presentations, and it's the first one I'm doing on cooking. Good what experience doing it on cooking. I tell you, I never thought I'd be doing something like this while I'm doing the cooking for a presentation. I'm enjoying it. It's fun. Do you like to cook? I know some of us do. It's shocking to see a man who loves to cook. Okay, now. I just stirred that up. Look at that. Yummy. Look at the juice and the pears all together. Now we're going to put this in the bowl. Put it in our pan with our pie crust. We're going to put a little in there. Come on, let's get y'all right. We got to get them all right together there. Got to make sure we have enough layers and juice on there. That's coming out good. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some good eating here. So now, I put my first layer in. 
Let me see. It. Let you see how it come out. See, delicious. So now I'm going to add my other pie crust topping. I don't do home homemade crust. I go buy my crust. See, from Dominic's. So now we're going to check it out. Right now, come on, come on, come on. Now, let's get the cooking. Now we're gonna take the other crust out of the pan and sit it on top of the other one. I had already placed in. Put that in there like that. Oh yeah, that's coming out good. Coming out real good. So now, let's place that in there. Good. You see the juice is pushing up. See that? There we go. Now we finna add our next layer. Get the rest of my pear, spread them on top evenly. Don't want to be too soupy. Want to be just right. Just right. So now let's get this in. Let me put you in there. Put you in there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Juice. That's a little juice. Let me make sure we all get around. There we go. That's going to be good. Mm hmm. Now we're going to add our next layer. Let me add it. My next layer. And now to finish it off, I put my other layer of crust on top. Let's see now. My other crust. Don't want to make a mess because I don't like to do all that cleaning up. So now we take our other crust, lay it on top. Place it just right. So everybody be taken care of. I'm a crust eater. I love the crust. So when I started making pies, I made sure, especially my cobblers, that I have enough crust. Because when the peach, when my mom, mom used to make peach cobbler, what I would do, I would eat the crust and throw the peaches away. I don't care for too much about no peach, especially if they warm and cooked. I didn't care for it too often. So when my mom showed me how to start doing this, I learned I wanted more crust in it. So I put three layers of crust on so I know I have enough crust to eat and make sure I have enough juice. Because it's nothing like a good cobbler with the juice and the crust just right and the, and the pears are just tender enough where you're going to enjoy it. That's what I'm talking about, a good pie. So now... That's it. Ta da! It's already made up. So, all I have to do now is go stick it in the oven and let it cook and bake. It'll take about 35 minutes until 35 minutes or until all the fruit is tender. That is my lesson on showing you how to make a cobbler, pear cobbler. If you have any questions, want to learn how to make one, or you want the recipe, you can always come look at my YouTube at Rudy Ramsey dot R R G Mail dot com. And I will have no problem getting you the recipe to learn how to make this cobble. This has been fun. It's been an experience doing this type of cobble. Oh well, my family is gonna really enjoy this cobble. So so I want you to know that this is fun this is not a job this is a hobby for me and I hope you all will learn something from this and you make sure when I cook or bake my pies or anything I always like to wash my dishes at the same time I'm doing this but by me don't have a space to do this 
and do my presentation on my pie, it was hard to get that done. So I would like to thank you all for taking the time out to look at my presentation on a peach cop, I mean pear cob. Oh, I get it mixed up sometimes from that peach to pear. You're so used to saying peach when you want to say pear. But I hope you enjoyed my presentation. And then a blessing and an honor to do this. Signing off, Rudy Ramsey. For Healthcare Leadership 330. Thank you. God bless. And goodbye.